Hello and welcome. Very, very important thing nowadays is to improve your writing skills. We all know that our verbal skill, which is a component of spoken as well as the non-spoken, which is written form, has to be good. And for most of the time, we speak well, but we do not actually write well. And that's the reason nine out of the ten people are not promoted. They are not even considered for any kind of a promotion. And this is majorly because of their writing skills. So if we want to get back to something basic and maybe improvise on something as of now so that it comes very handy and that is writing skill which I also called as a career skill. So let's begin with how to write professional emails. That's the major challenge ever in the corporate world. Email is one of the most widest used forms of communication both in and out of the workplace. Because of its speed and efficiency, you will likely use email in some capacity no matter your role or industry. You can write professional emails for a variety of reasons. For example, you might need to recap an important meeting, exchange information, relay an important update or send a letter of introduction. A well composed email provides the recipient with a friendly, clear, concise and actionable message. Learning how to write an email that meets all of these criteria can take practice. Consider the following tips and best practices to help you write effective professional emails. Identify your goal. Consider your audience. Keep it concise. Proofread your email. Use proper etiquette and remember to follow up. Six steps for writing professional emails. Let's understand and make our thought process align with professional one. If you are not sure how to start an email, which is often a problem, these five steps can help you draft or craft a professional message. Number one, identify your goal. Before you write an email, ask yourself what you want the recipient to do after they have read it. Once you have determined the purpose of your email, you can ensure everything you include in your message supports this action. For example, if you want the recipient to review a report you have attached, let them know what the report is, why you need them to review it, what sort of feedback you need and when you need the task completed. Timelines. Number two, consider your audience. When you compose an email message, make sure your tone matches your audience. For example, if you are emailing a business executive you have never met, keep the email polished and free of any jokes or informalities. On the other hand, if you are emailing a colleague with whom you have a good relationship, you might use a less formal, more friendly approach. Number three. Keep it concise. Your audience might have little time to read through your email. So make it as brief as possible without leaving out key information. Try not to address too many subjects at once as this can make your message lengthy, challenging to read and difficult to take action on. When editing your email, Take out any information that's irrelevant to the topic you are addressing. Use short, simple sentences by removing filler words and extraneous information. This will make your notes shorter and easier to read. Number four, proofread your email. An error-free email demonstrates diligence and professionalism. Before you send an email, Take a moment to check for any spelling, grammar or syntax errors. Also double check to ensure you have included any attachments you may have referenced in your message. If it is an important email to critical stakeholders, you might ask your direct supervisor or a trusted colleague to read over it before you send it. Number fifth, use proper etiquette. 
include a courteous greeting and closing to sound friendly and polite additionally be considerate of the recipient and their time for example unless it's an emergency avoid emailing a contact asking for something after hours or while they are on leave number 6 remember to follow up most people receive several emails per day so they might miss or forget to respond to your message if the recipient hasn't replied within two working days consider reaching back out with a friendly follow up email format and structure of formal email very important there are five elements to consider when formatting your email here is a breakdown of each number 1 subject line This is a short phrase that summarizes the reason of your message or the goal of your communication. It is important to include a subject line when sending a professional email so your audience knows exactly what to expect and is able to locate the message easily if needed. For example, follow up, product presentation. These can be anything on the subject line. Number 2 salutation this is the first line of your email and generally acts as the greeting for example hi mr samson number 3 body just like the body of a letter this is where you will share your full message for example thank you for attending the new product presentation this afternoon I have attached a video file of the full recording so you can share it with your team. Please let me know if you have any questions. Fourth, closing. This is the last line of your email before your signature and should wrap up your message. This is also where you may reiterate any requests you have made in the body of your message. For example, I look forward to speaking with you on Wednesday. Thanks again. Number 5 signature. The signature is where you identify yourself by name, title and any other information relevant to your professional communication. Most email programs allow you to set a fixed signature that's automatically generated at the end of every email you send. Sincerely Jillian Jones senior soft engineer ABC company ink so this could be the signature but have it in a full form so that there is a relevance established as to whom you are talking to and whom you want to have the communication coming back to now examples of professional emails here are three examples of professional emails number 1 email to a new contact subject line UX research contract opportunity. Hello Amal, I hope this message finds you well. I am reaching out today because I am managing an application redesign project here at ABC Company and seeking a skilled UX research contractor to help analyze several sets of usability testing data. This is a 3 month project beginning February 1st. and we estimate it will take roughly 15 hours per week all work can be completed remotely but you are welcome to use our workspace please let me know if you are interested in this project and we can set up some time to discuss the details further i look forward to hearing from you sincerely alan gotto user experience director abc company inc Let's have the second email which is formally to a group. Subject line marketing meeting cancelled. Hi team. The marketing strategy meeting scheduled for this afternoon has been cancelled. I apologize for the late notice but I know everyone will welcome the extra time back in their day. We will reconvene at our regularly scheduled time next Wednesday. Thanks Gretchen van Buren. senior marketing manager number 3 follow up email how you are supposed to follow it up subject line re a reminder which stands for reminder availability for introductory meeting hi elizabeth i just wanted to check back in regarding the date for your meeting with mr al jamil 
Just let me know whether June 5th or June 6th works better for your schedule. Thank you, Adam Moore, Executive Assistant, 123 Company. Whether you are entering the workforce for the first time or just looking to improve your electronic communication skills, learning how to write a professional email is a critical skill. By using the above tips and examples to guide your email efforts, you will be composing effective messages in no time. So I'm very sure with all these laid down principle as well as the templates of different utility, you would now be more aware, more confirm and ready to get professional writing emails. If that is a start that you're looking for, then I think it's a good beginning. So best wishes. And thank you.